Welcome to How to Take Selfies in Business Central with AL. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, recently I um, I wanted to add some camera support to one of my apps, and um, the first thing I did, of course, was go and visit the documentation, and um, I found this place, Implementing the Camera on AL, which is you know, a great article about how to do this, but with .NET. Um, this is not very universal code, but clearly, um, clearly it should be doable to, I should be allowed to use the camera even if I'm doing an app on App Source and, and Cloud, so it has to be a way, uh, has to be an undocumented way. So. Let's, uh, let's let's explore that together. Um, and I have started a uh, little project here, uh, basically just not to bore you with the fact that I have created a table with a blob field, uh, and I have created a page called Take Photo, which shows the fields, and created a an empty action here just to to get us going. Um, so. What do we do? This is uh, we can of course take a look at existing pages where the the camera is uh, in, implemented, or we can just go explore. So, what about we just go explore? And the first thing we could do was explore uh, to see if there should be a uh, you know if we create a variable called a camera. If a, if there's a code unit called camera. And there is. So that's pretty good. And what can we do with a with a camera code unit? We can no longer add picture. That is apparently obsolete. So there is a get picture is available and run. So run. So the the problem with most of these code units is that there is no run. But then you think there's never a run, and then there is a run on a code unit. Um, so the way to figure that out is, of course, to create it and then hit, hit F12 to see if there's actually a on-run trigger, and there's not in this case. Uh, even though the uh, the documentation, the docs is clearly lacking, uh, there's pretty good information in here. Uh, so we have a get picture, takes a picture from a camera, duk, 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 and return the data in the in-stream. And there is a, is available, check whether the camera on the client device is available. And that's, so that last one is actually pretty good because um, if you're running, a, right now I'm running against a Docker image and um, let me actually go back to the doc page here. And if you're running Docker and you're running Docker uh, unencrypted, so just HTTP, then your browser will most likely not allow uh, pages to access the camera. But you can go into flags in your in your browser, edge colon slash slash flags, and there's a setting called insecure origins treated as secure. So if you add the uh, the URL of your Docker, in this case, my Docker is called BC20, then the camera will be accessible. Um, so there, I just save you for 15 minutes of pulling your hair, saying, why doesn't this work? Um, back to VS Code. So we could go if camera, camera, is available, then we surely want to do something. Camera dot get picture returns a boolean, so we should probably do if camera get picture, then we want to do something. Uh, and what is it that we need to pass to this one? We need to pass a string for a, sorry, we need to pass a in stream and we need to pass a var uh, so we can return the file name. Oh, that's interesting. So let's create that in stream. 
And I know we're gonna need an outstream then. When we get an in-stream, so I'll just create an outstream too. If you are confused about the whole what is what, is what then you read data from an in-stream. You write data to an outstream. Um, and if this is still confusing, there is a video on the channel uh, for subscribers only. So if you're not subscribed, go do subscribe i'll wait for you click the yeah there you go and uh, it's called in out read write confusing direction something like that uh that will take you through all the crazy things about what goes which way anyway you read from an in stream so this is where you get data in and you write to an out stream this is where you put data out unless you think in and out this the other way anyway so, um, and I, I needed something what's called file name also text here. So now we can pass the in stream to this guy and we can pass the file name. So that is pretty good. Now, the, so now we, we get it. So the stream is just, it's, it's just a tube, basically a, a pipe. Uh, so we need to connect this pipe to something um and and that's something we need to so we have something where we can get data so we need some a place to put the data so we'll take our blob field with it's called reg dot picture and do a create an outstream so now we have another uh, pipe that we can write through so we use the the data pump function called copy stream that we copy to the outstream from the in-stream. So think about this as saying that outstreams kind of is equal in-stream. So whatever data is inside in-stream needs to go to the outstream. That's the order of the parameters here. Uh, it's not a typical order where this is source and this is destination. This is the other way around. Um, and then we probably need to modify our rec here. I actually think this will work. Uh, so let's put a breakpoint here and see what ha what's happening. Hit a five to deploy this thing. I need to log in. And this is my very simple thing. So we'll just create a record called 10 and hit the clicky. We got our breakpoint. Is camera available? Yes, it is. Get picture. So now it's probably, hang on, you see, we're trying to take a photo here. Uh, so I put up another camera that is over there. Uh, so you can get a, a behind the scenes look at what's on my other screen and my synthesizer. Uh, so I'll take a photo of that. I'll use that. It says uploading, there's something here. And then I think we're back in the debugger probably. Let's see what happens. We are here, so we now have an in-stream. We have a file name, so that file name has actually been, so we have been, a, it generated a file name for us, picture or something, kind of .jpg with an E even. Uh, I'll just, we'll do the copy string, we'll modify the rec, and we'll hit a five. And looky, 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 we got ourselves a photo. So that was surprisingly easy. No, not, not much work to do that. Uh, no way shorter on all this thing um but wait maybe there's other ways of doing this so now we just search for code unit and and we found one so let's actually let's actually uh, copy this thing so let's create another action here so let's call this one for clicky code unit because See, if we go away with this one and then say page, 
there's also a page called camera. And what can we do with a page called camera? Well, let's try. So camera, camera hasn't is available. So, so this line of code actually worked. Uh, that's pretty good. Get the picture. Gets the the picture that was taken when the page was opened. So this is a slightly different way of this working. Has photo. It has picture. It's available. Uh, indicates whether simple editing is allowed before the picture is stored. Send set encoding type. Set quality. So clearly we can we can do some more stuff here. So let, let's try to wire this up. So is available is good. Um, so we need to run the page. So at some point we need to do a um, a run modal on this page. Um, and then let's see what we had. We had a get picture, and it, this takes either a blob, blob, temp, temp blob code unit, or just an in-stream. So there's no file name involved here. And this one doesn't re do anything like this, but I think there was a if camera dot has picture, then begin. So, so a slightly different syntax. Let, let's just see if this works at all. Should we? No, no, no debugger. That's this works, right? I, I, I think this works. This was the first photo. Let's create a new one. Uh, we can call this page. And then we not will not do the code unit clicky. We'll just do the clicky. So this looks the same, I think. Click OK. Say use, uploading. And we got a photo. So, so basically, it's the same thing. It looks like it's the same thing. So maybe the code unit is actually just using this page. But now let's play around just a bit with those functions. So what do we have here? We have set allow edit. Let's see what that gives us. Came a camera set encoding type. So we can do what was it called again? Image encoding. So image in coding colon colon. So we can say that if we want to do, want a JPEG or PNG. Let's see what happens if we feed PNG into this camera. And what else can we do? We can set quality. And that was a set quality between zero and hundred, where hundred is the highest available resolution. Let's see what happens if we set this to zero. Okay. So we can do another one. We'll call this twenty, and then we'll do the clicky thing. So all this looks the same. I take a photo. Does not look like I can do anything else. Say use. I'm not sure I see quality zero. Maybe zero is it's bad. Maybe we need to do one. Let's do one instead. Uh, what about 21? We haven't done 21 yet. But this allow editing. We didn't see anything like that either. 
Is this? No, it's not like I'm doing it. Use, uploading. To be honest, this doesn't really look like. So what happens if I go and press F12 on this one? That's not much luck here. So let's see what we have. Set allow edit. Editing whether simple editing is allowed before the picture is stored. Um, it is like camera options, camera options dot edit allow. So I think you need the camera options is what we actually, if we go back to this and see the dot net example here uses camera options also. So they set quality hundred uh, here. They do the quality 10. And this one is probably, they don't set any quality here. So this is probably just regular. We can, we can, no, let's just do a 22. No, hang on, not, that was not what I wanted to do. I wanted to go here and just see if anything below 10 is, is getting ignored. Clickety click. Oh, it's a sad face. No. I don't think that has much effect. Um, but actually, what happens if I Um, uh, no, that's probably not. No, 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 no. So I'm not sure this has much effect anymore. It might have at some point, but clearly it, it does not look like it has any effect at this point. Um, but there's at least two ways of uh, accessing the camera. And if we go look at, at what Microsoft are doing themselves, uh, page 346, can you remember your page numbers? 346 should be the image picture that is. Uh, and there is a uh, somewhere there is a take new picture, do take new picture. This is very, and we got cameras, which is a, so they use the code unit version here. So it's pretty much what we did in, in this version. So this, this, is, this is pretty clean and uh, I think the difference between the code unit and so one one advantage is the page has over the code unit is the fact that you can actually get a template. Uh, so if that's easier in whatever you're doing um, to pass it around as a template, then the page might be uh, be better. But it's clearly the code unit is just kind of a wrapper to uh, to the page, and it's also clear that these things there's a reason they're not exposed in the code unit because apparently they're not really doing anything useful. So um, that's how you do selfies in AL in Business Central. Uh, now I suggest you go visit this one because that's a good video found by the mighty YouTube algorithm, especially for you. See you there. Take care.